Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 18 and verse 1 says, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Everybody say, I love the Lord. And he's my strength. And he's my strength. Hallelujah. And verse 2 says, The Lord is my rock. Somebody say, The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my rock. Amen. And my fortress. And, and my deliverer. Hallelujah. He's a place where you run when things are back. Amen. He's the one that gets you out of the mess. Amen. Sometimes that you get yourself into. Whom I, he is my strength, yes. in whom I will trust, my buckler. That means he's my shield. Yes. Amen. And he's the horn of my salvation. Oh, yes. That's power. Amen. The horn of salvation is power. Amen. Yes. And my high tower. Yes. That's what God is to us. Yes. Amen. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, What do you got? What do you got? Now you got to say it with some attitude. What do you got? What do you got? Hallelujah. And I want you to look back at him and say, I got a rock. I got a rock. Hallelujah. I don't know if you've ever been in a fight before. Uh, amen. Uh, but but when you're you're trading knuckles with somebody, if all of a sudden they pick up a rock, you're in trouble. Yes. Hallelujah. I want you to know we're in a fight right now, yeah. and the fight uh, is not fair. Yeah. But we've got the upper hand. Yeah. Who hate me? 
me. Uh, the ropes of death uh, were all around me. The King James Version says the sorrows of death uh, come past me. And the floods uh, of the ungodly men made me afraid. Yeah. The sorrows of hell come past me about. The snares of death prevented me. Uh, in my distress, uh, I called uh, to the Lord in my trouble. Yes. I cried to God for help and He heard my voice from His holy house. My cry for help came into His ears. You cry out to God today. I want you to know you're not just talking to a dead rock. You're talking to a rock that is alive. This rock may not roll, but it has some ears to hear. Can somebody say praise the Lord? Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. He heard my voice from his holy house. My hot cry came into his ears. The earth shook. Somebody say that's powerful. The mountains were shaking. They shook because he was angry. I want you to know when you get in a mess and the enemy is encompassed round about you, that God gets mad. Amen. I've got an a, a God that can get an attitude. Yes. <laughs> Don't you get no attitude with me. Oh, yes, I will, because I got a rock. Amen. You can't tell. Oh, I got a rock. Amen. I, I got a rock that is higher than I. Amen. amen. The one that gives me the strength that I need. Can somebody say amen? amen. Hallelujah. We're not playing rock, paper, and scissors. I want you to know this is a real rock. Amen. Verse 8 says, smoke went out from his nose, and the fire that kept coming from his mouth burned everything around it. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. You call upon this rock, and you don't have to be afraid. I don't care who's pushing you around. I don't care about your circumstances. All I care about is you've got the rock. Amen. Amen. sat upon a cherubim. In other words, he sat upon an angelic being. Amen. And he flew. He traveled on the wings of the wind. He made the darkness his hiding place. The covering around him. The dark rain clouds of the sky. This is our rock. Amen. What do you got? I got a rock. I don't have a problem. I got a rock. Amen. Yes. I don't have a physical ailment. I got a rock. Amen. You don't have a financial problem. You got a rock. Yes. 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 And this rock is worth a whole lot of money. Yes. Yes. You heard that before? I, I've heard a, a young girl get engaged, uh, and all of a sudden everybody's talking. Oh, did you see the rock on her hand? Uh, hallelujah! Hey, this rock is better, and it's more valuable. Amen. about that rock. If you can fit it and wear it on your finger, then man, I don't screw it. And man, I got a rock you can't put on your finger, honey. Right. How, how valuable it is. How big it is. It's a big rock. Amen. It's a rock that brings me victory. Can somebody say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Through the light before him, past his dark clouds, hail, stones, and fire. The Lord made thunder in the heavens. The voice of the Most High spoke out, hail, stones, and fire. He sent out his arrows and divided them. He threw down lightning and sent them running. I want you to know, if you've got an enemy, don't you worry about them anymore, because the Lord's going to send them running. Amen. This word came to me this week and it's been on me from the very beginning of the week. I want you to know what do you got? I got a rock. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Then the deep part of the sea could be seen and the deep part of the earth was opened up because of your sharp words. Oh Lord, because of the powerful breath from your nose. He sent from above and took me. He lifted me out of many waters. He took me away from the powerful one who fights against me and from those who hated me. They were too strong for me. But that's alright. I got a rock. Amen. You don't 
understand my situation, Pastor. Oh, it doesn't matter. I got a rock. Amen. They stood against me in the day of my trouble, but the Lord was my strength. Amen. Amen. He brought me out into a big place. Yeah. He gave me a safe place because he was pleased with me. Amen. The Lord has paid me because of my being right with him. Because of my clean hands, he has paid me. The psalmist said he has rewarded me because of my righteousness. He has rewarded me because of my clean hands. I want you to know today, you stay right with God. You keep your life right. And it doesn't matter what's going on around you. God will reward you. Amen. Amen. I did a whole lot better when I was out and seeing. At least I wasn't worrying about my bills being paid and this and that. Hey, you stay faithful to God and God's going to stay faithful to you. Amen. Great are His benefits. Amen. Amen. The Lord has paid me. He says this twice in this song right here. The Lord has paid me because of my being right with Him. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and I have not sinned by turning from my God. All His laws are in front of me and I have not set His laws aside. Before Him I was without blame and I have kept myself from sin. And verse 24 says, So the Lord has paid me back for being right with Him and for my hands being clean in his eyes. God's going to pay you, brother. Amen. You keep it right. You keep it between the middle of the road where it needs to be. You stay on the straight and narrow and God's going to take care of you. Before him, I was without blame and I've kept myself uh, I have kept myself from sin. What do you got? I got a rock. Amen. To the faithful, this is what the psalmist said and he's talking about a rock. He said to the faithful, you show yourself faithful. You be faithful and guess what God's going to do? Somebody say he's going to be faithful. To those without blame, you show yourself without blame. With the pure, you show yourself pure. With the sinful, you show yourself to be against them. I want you to know today, keep yourself right and God's on your side. Save those who are suffering. If you're suffering today, guess what? The rock that I've got is going to save you from your suffering. Somebody say, I believe it. Amen. But you bring low those who have pride in their eyes. You make my lamp bright. In other words, he makes your light shine. It's no longer this little light of mine. Amen. It's a beaming beacon of light. Can somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. With your help, I can go against many soldiers. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With your help. For by thee, the psalmist said in the King James Version, I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. In other words, I can run through a whole group of soldiers. Woo! What do you got? I got a rock. How you gonna take on all those who are against you? I got a rock. Amen. What are you gonna do? Just one little person? You see, the psalmist who wrote this knew about the power of a rock. Because we know who the psalmist David is, right? When he was a little shepherd boy, what did he do? He went to the brook and got himself five stones. Amen. He took that rock against the giant. Amen. Hey, you come against me with a sword and a shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's power in the rock. Can somebody say amen? You can run through a troop and leap over a wall. Amen. I can go against many soldiers. As for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord has stood the test. What the psalmist said. 
I don't know if I can make it. Oh, you can make it. You got a rock. Amen. Yes. 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 I got a rock. Yes. Hallelujah. His way is perfect. The word of the Lord has stood the test. He is a covering for all those who go to him for a safe place. For who is God but the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? I want you to know our God is the rock. Yes. Yes. I apologize to all these interfaithism type people. Hey, if you're not praising the God, you don't have a rock. You don't have the rock. You can call him what you want to. I've got a rock. rock except our God. It is God who covers me with strength and makes my way perfect. I want you to know with God your way is going to be perfect. Amen. It doesn't make sense to anybody else, Pastor. Hey, God said it. You just believe it and follow through with it. Can somebody say amen? Amen. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer and he sets me on high places. You know, you're not no little, you're not a little slow poke. Amen. When you get the rock. Yes. Amen. See, he makes my feet like the feet of a deer. You know what how fast a deer runs? You want to know what a deer looks like when he's running? He's running with grace. Honey, you're in this race. He's gonna make your feet like the feet of a deer. You're gonna be moving. He sets my feet on high place in verse 34. And I know we teach and preach about, a lot about love, and I'm not, and I'm all for that. We taught on that Wednesday night. We're going to teach on it again this Wednesday night, all about love. But I want you to understand, my God of love is also a God of war. Yes, yes, yes. yes. He is. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Verse 34 says, He teaches me how to fight. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arm. Wow. A bow of steel. I'm not a little weakling anymore. And I don't have to eat spinach to be able to bend that bow. Amen. It's not like Popeye. Amen. He gets real weak and he has to pop a can of spinach just to be able to fight. I want you to know all you got to do is pop the rock. That's right. Hallelujah. Right here it is. What are you bringing out? What you going to fight with? I'm going to fight with the rock. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. He teaches me how to fight. You have also given me the covering that saves me. Your right hand holds me up and your care has made me great. You make the road wide for my steps and my feet have not tripped. I went after those who fight against me and caught them and I did not return until they were destroyed. I want you to know our enemy, spiritual and physical, wherever and whoever they may be, we will be victorious over them. Amen. 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 Victorious. Victorious. Verse 38 says, I hit them so they were not able to rise. They fell under my feet. You have given me strength for war. You have put under me those who have fought against me. In other words, you're going to be dancing on those who have been messing with you for way too long. Thou hast given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. Amen. One of the ways uh, that, that they would show victory uh, amen, in, in those days was to put their foot on the neck of their enemy. Amen. They'd make them lay down and they would walk over and put their foot on them. Amen. I don't know if you've ever had that done. I don't want to be down and my enemy standing over me. But, but worse than that, he's got his foot on my neck. You're not going to be going anywhere. I got a rock. He is 
the Lord lives. Somebody say, the Lord lives. Lord You've taken me away from the fighting of the people. You've made me the leader of nations. People who I have not known will serve me. This is the promise of the Lord. As soon as they hear, they obey me. Those from other lands obey me. These people from other lands lose their strengths of heart and they come shaking from behind their walls. The Lord lives. How great is my rock. Somebody say, my rock is great. My rock is great. My rock is great. Amen. My rock is great. Praise be to the God who saves me. He is the God who punishes those who have done wrong to me. He puts nations under my rule. He saves me from those who hate me. Yes, you lift me above those who rise up against me. You save me from those who want to hurt me. So I will give thanks to you among the nations, O Lord, and I will sing praises to your name. He gives great power over trouble and he shows loving kindness to his chosen one. And everybody say amen. amen. I don't know. I know what I, I face and what I go through but I want you to know today I'm not worried about it anymore because the Lord let me know this week I got a rock amen. and it's a solid rock. It's not going to pass away over time. It's not going to erode. Amen. This is not a stalactite or a stalagmite that's going to go away as the waters come against it. It's going to be firm and it's going to be strong. I don't know where you're at today. I don't know how you've been fighting your fight, but I want you to know that it's time you pick it up and you use the rock that he's given you. Stand to your feet today. The enemy has coerced you and has convinced you that you need to fight fair. I want you to know you don't need to fight fair. If you listen to him and do what he says, you're going to end up being beat up. And I don't want to be beat up. Hallelujah. I want to win this fight that I'm in. Amen. I don't care who thinks it's not fair. I don't care. I'm picking up the rock and I'm fighting with the rock. And then the enemy's going to get the word. You don't want to fight with him because he's not going to fight fair. That's right. I'm not signing a peace treaty with my enemy. Amen. Amen. I'm going to fight on his terms. I'm talking about on God's terms. He said it's all right if you pick up a rock, the rock, and you fight with this rock. Hallelujah. As you bow your heads and you close your eyes, you know what you've been facing and what you've been fighting against. And you know what you've been dealing with. And you've been trying to be too prim and too pretty and too proper through all of this. I want you to know that it's time that you spiritually rise up and pick up the rock that he has given you. And you use this weapon that he's given us. Hallelujah. To your advantage. Glory to God. How are you going to fight? I'm going to fight with the rock. What you going to do? I'm going to pick up the rock. Might be a little hard to swing. I want you to know the scripture says the rock gives you strength. It may be heavy, but I want you to know as you begin to swing the rock, strength shall rise up within you. Amen. The enemy is going to see the salvation that the Lord is going to bring into your life. Spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally. If you believe me today and you're fighting a battle, whether it be spiritual, physical, financial, emotional, relationship-wise, if you believe what I've said today from the psalmist David, I want you to gather around this altar. Amen. And spiritually pick up the rock that has been given to us. Amen. And make a proclamation today that you are going to fight this fight and you are not giving up. Amen. You're going to go through this with victory. victory.
Thank you.